Ben Peterson here, uh, Lake Mills, Iowa, talking about our strip tiller that we use uh, in our operation. It's 24 row 30 inch soil warrior. And we've, got, we've done some modifications to this machine to fit our needs. Uh, so they, first and foremost, uh, this is a row unit on our last strip tiller we used uh, across all uh, eight rows uh, at the time. Uh, it's Toil Warriors Classic Cogwheel. And the reason we have this here is because in our controlled traffic, uh, either of these row units, and you'll see there's two more over there to match, uh, are, are usually pounding through those wheel tracks where we, uh, where we drive in a majority of our farm operations. Uh, so we're trying to make a more manageable strip that's optimal for growing the next year's crop uh, when we're running this in the fall. Uh, the reason we went away from that is to gain more width, gain more efficiency, and to reduce tillage where we can. Uh, we don't have the cultures on yet, but as you can see, I went to uh, what's called the Soil Warrior N. I think they're still calling it that. Uh, single coulter, uh, single, single coulter row unit outside of that. Um, again, just trying to reduce tillage where we can uh, and in areas where we're not having to go through wheel tracks, uh, we found that to be that to be adequate. We're still refining it. Um, Going to do some different things with our row cleaners next year. Go to a, a razor wheel from Martin instead of these spike tooth, which I do like in the spring. Probably switch back and forth. Uh, you know, in the process too, we went back to these cog wheels versus two shallow cultures because we found we still need that aggressive. Uh, tillage in uh, in our control traffic patterns and um, uh, yeah this this strip tiller can also seed cover crops at the same time um, here you go here here you'll see one of the tubes that does that uh, there's one between each row and we do that in the fall uh, when we can uh, as we're fertilizing dry as we're putting down dry fertilizer uh, also seed our cover crops at the same time trying to gain efficiency. It's not a perfect or absolutely ideal way to seed cover crops, but it's been as effective as anything else we've tried in, in that realm so far. So um, it's really a nice multi-tool to have on our farm. It's really the cornerstone of what we do in our reduced tillage, uh, regenerative uh, operation.